Hello, my name is Denis and you are watching Close to Holga Trading. I have got a lot of responses after I posted the Battle of the Optimization Portfolio video. So, I took the code that I used there and with some improvements create a very useful and very simple framework which can help to backtest different portfolios. Here I will explain how we can use it. The framework is based on early idea which I described in one of my videos. The similar but more powerful implementation you may find from Quant Connect. But I think it's always good to have some local simple solution that might help to test any of the ideas without any additional services. The core of the framework is a backtrader. It's a Python framework for backtesting and trading. I have implemented a generic rebalancing strategy, which we are going to use. But based on the configuration, we can test different ideas without learning of the backtrader specifics. The rebalancing strategy has the following structure. First, we need to select our working assets. For that, we have a model which implements a selection of our universe. Selection model. Then, selected assets are going to the alpha model. Alpha model is a core of our algorithm. It's generating the trading signals. Based on the generated signals, we are going to build our portfolio. The portfolio construction model generates an allocation of the assets from the alpha model. The next step is a rebalancing of our portfolio. Remove old assets and add new one, or change the amount of the assets in the portfolio. After that, we might want to check some risk conditions, which should be implemented in the risk model. And after all of these steps, we can call execution model, which will place an order to buy or sell our assets. If you check the code of rebalancing strategy, you will find the implementation of all these steps. You may see that before selection model, I call the function which returns data frame only with the close prices. I did it because for me it's enough to have only the close prices. Now let's have a brief overview of the implementation of our models. So the selection model receives as an input data frame with the close prices and returns dictionary where a key is an asset ticker and the value is the index in the backtrader data. We use this dictionary as an input to the alpha model, which generates a dictionary with the signals. The key is the asset and the value is the direction. We pass this information to the portfolio construction model as input and then the model generates a dictionary which contains allocation weights of our assets. Again, the key is an asset ticker and the value is a weight. Rebalance model looks very similar to the portfolio construction model. It receives allocation dictionary and creates a new one, but with the amount of our assets instead of weights. The risk model receives output from the rebalance model and if it's needed, change it, and then send it to the execution model. Execution model has by default an implementation to buy and sell requested number of our assets. Now, when we have knowledge about the structure and implementation, let's try to test some portfolio idea. I am going to use a simple generic algorithm for stock picking. To be able to test it, we need to implement the following four models. Selection model, alpha model, portfolio allocation, and rebalancing model. Selection model could be very simple. To be sure that all our data contains valid information, we are going to drop all assets with the missing data or where the price is zero. The alpha model is a simple generic momentum strategy. Here we are going to buy n assets with the highest momentum. In the next video, we will check the momentum strategy with more details. It's very simple but powerful approach for the stock picking. The next is an allocation model. Let's implement the model which assigns equal weights to all our assets. And the last model which we need to implement is a rebalance model. This implementation is generic and performs simple rebalancing based on assigned weights. So after all of our models is done, let's see how to use them. First of all, we need some data. I am going to use current list of S&P 500 tickets for my universe. We will download the historical price data of all these stocks starting from January 2007. Now we need to fill our configuration. 
First of all, we define our data source structure. We will use only open and close prices. Open price we need because we want to open and close the position on the open price of the next day. Then we define our asset and our benchmark ticker. Starting cash, option trade on open, and we have to set a warm up period of our algorithm. We are going to calculate our momentum based on the last year. After that, we need to create our strategy configuration. You may see that I set rebalance day options to 22, which means we are going to rebalance our portfolio once in a month. Also, I defined here reserve cash. I use it to avoid error of order execution due to not enough money. Then we define all our models and parameters. Before we start the backtest, we need to assign to our configuration two datasets, one with the data of all our assets and another one with the benchmark data. Now we can call a backtest function and wait until the report is generated. The report is generated using quantstat package and contains a lot of interesting information. The link to the code you will find in the description. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.